So if you're reactive to cabbage, your body's gonna react like you ate a Reese's peanut butter cup. Whoa, you are blowing my mind right now. Hello, welcome to Bikini.com. I'm Rob Shooter. And I'm Ellie Lee, and we're sitting with celebrity nutritionist Lynn Janae. Now, her plan eliminates many of the healthy foods that I recommend for weight loss. We find that most people are just eating three to four foods affecting their health and their waistline. The diets that worked for us in our 20s just aren't going to work for us as well in our 30s. Lynn, thanks for doing the show. So tell us what your plan is. I don't care if you want to eat vegan or paleo. Your weight and your health is just your chemical response to food. And when you find the foods that work for your chemistry, you can eat two, 3,000 calories a day, every single day, eating till you're full. Beyonce, she went on her vegan diet. I am not naturally the thinnest woman. I have struggled with diets. That might necessarily not have been the best for her. Vegan diets tend to rely on higher inflammatory foods like beans and tofu. If you want to attack thyroid function, you want to skew your hormones, you want to potentially set yourself up for breast cancer. Oh my God. I wouldn't recommend soy to anyone. 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 I mean, this is alarming. This is food that I think we think if we eat, we, we will lose weight and yes. feel healthy. How do we find out what food is right for us? I developed a protocol and it teaches you to understand the foods that work for your chemistry. Hmm. For instance, if I have one teaspoon of hummus, I'm gonna gain a pound, I'm gonna look like I'm nine months pregnant, and my sinuses are gonna flare up. Someone like Katy Perry too is known for having issues with her skin. My most insecure moments related to my face and to my skin problems. You're saying that by changing her diet, that could clear that up? Well, of course, when we're talking about acne, we're talking usually about a hormonal imbalance. And that's your body saying, hey, you ate something that really doesn't work for us. And that's something that we want to identify. Healthy foods can be the culprit. So salmon, Greek yogurt, asparagus, Quinoa, raw kale. Wait, 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 because that's, that's, that's like earth shattering. Like you can't, we can't just say that yeah, and not follow up. That is literally everything I'm eating. Any food that's inflammatory causes your sugars to rise. So if you're reactive to cabbage, your body's going to react like you ate a Reese's peanut butter cup. Whoa, you are blowing my <laughs> mind right now. So what about all these fad diets like being gluten free and everyone's doing the raw thing? All that gluten free garbage that you're eating is filled with foods that are just as inflammatory. Tapioca starch, potato starch, xanthan gum, all of this stuff that is making you sicker and fatter. Eating food that tastes like cardboard half the time and you're still putting on weight. What about some of the celebrities out there with cookbooks? Gwyneth Paltrow has one, Eva Longoria has a cookbook. Kris Jenner. Well, I don't know if they're actually writing the cookbooks. <laughs> so I'm just confused, you know, for me, I wrote every single word of my book. Because I work a lot with celebrities and none of them are ever cooking. Their chefs are doing the cooking. <laughs> so you're calling out Gwyneth Paltrow. I am. You know, it, writing a cookbook, is fun, but I doubt that these foods are really promoting the real health benefits and weight loss benefits that you can get from eating normal foods that you love. And who do you think needs you the most? Who would you like to get your hands on? Oh, well, Oprah, I think you need to do the plan. We all want to be healthier, but let's just get real. We also want to lose weight. Oprah has access to pretty much everything and her weight has gone up and down. You think this is because she hasn't followed your plan? There's never been anyone that has not lost a huge amount of weight on the plan, whether they come to me weighing 500 pounds or whether they just need 10 to 20 pounds. 100%? 100%. You'd bet your life on that? I bet my life on it. And then probably the biggest um, food show is the biggest loser. 10 more, 10 more. I just hammered him into Nine. the ground. <laughs> What are your feelings about that show? We think that the only way we can lose weight is by punishing ourselves, and that breaks my heart. But we're also talking about, like, we shouldn't be eating french fries. We shouldn't be eating fried chicken. Well, actually, french fries are very low inflammatory. I love french fries, and I have them three times a week. It's certainly really interesting. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you.